Good morning, y'all. So it is Sunday, 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 Sunday. Just kidding. Today is not going to be a fun day. I don't really have anything planned. It's currently raining outside. It looks very ugly. I'm about to go and get my nails and my toes done, but we don't have any broken nails. So I'm proud of myself for that. I'm trying out this new place called the Nail Lab. It's on Far Road in Buckhead. It, they have really amazing reviews. So I'm excited to see how they execute. For the fit, nothing too major. Well, nothing at all, actually. Let me step back so y'all can see me. I got on this bodysuit. You see that? Um, this my my mom would say this is my favorite jacket in the whole wide world. And I mean, she's not lying. It's so cute. And then I got my Chanel's on. And that's it. I've been carrying this bag all week. I like this bag because. I could fit a lot of stuff in here. So like my camera, I could fit in here. My phone. I might go and get my eyebrows done today too. Today, I don't really have too much to do. I'm just gonna be working after I get to take care of this stuff. But clean the Airbnb and then I have to start editing my last week's um, vlog. Yeah, and then I also have to edit another video, but I'm gonna hopefully get those done within the next couple of days so that I can have two videos to post this week. Fingers crossed, y'all. We're trying to stay consistent this year. Road to a million. <laughs> Road to a fucking million. I don't know, like, we gotta show a little bit more gratitude. Shit. Was it daylight savings? The clock says 9.38 and it's 10. What the hell? That's what happens when you're not on social media. You don't remember. Wow, this is an old gym workout routine that I created. Oh, so yesterday, y'all, I went to go look at cars. As you all know, I do not have a vehicle at the moment. I am currently, well, today I'm driving my mom's car. My boyfriend is kind enough to let me drive his car, too. I got into an accident a couple months ago, probably about September. November, December, January, February. Damn, it's been six months already. So yeah, I got into a car accident in six months ago. Well, really, nah, it was like five months because it was September 29th. So it was literally at the end of September. But anyways, got into a car accident, totaled out my car, don't have a car. So yesterday I went to the Lexus dealership to look at the... I'm going to put them up here on the screen just so y'all can get an idea of how sexy these cars are. But I went to go look at the Lexus ES350. And this is the bigger model of the other car that I'm about to tell you about. I was able to test drive it. It was white. The one I test drove was white. I hate white. I do not want a white car. I'm sorry. Can't do white. Or I don't know if I'm going to do a lease or a finance. I don't know. The other car I looked at was the IS. 350 that was the car that I originally came in there to look at and when I came in I told him you know I'm looking for the I the LS but I didn't realize that it was an I and not an L I thought it was a lowercase L but it was a I so the IS 350 so this is just a smaller version of the ES and this one is a rear rear wheel drive and the other one is a front wheel drive don't know how much of a difference that makes. I got to do my research on what that means. But he told me that and it stuck out to me. So I remembered it. But this car was so freaking nice. She had red interior. It was a 2023 though. So it was brand spanking new. Um, red interior. And then it was like a grayish color on the outside. My lips dry as fuck. All right. I'm about to leave because I want to get there early. Or like right on time so that they um, aren't like packed. I just want to walk in, walk out. So guys, unfortunately I wasn't able to get my nails done here because they don't do acrylic. Which I'm not upset about because 
I was upset the last time I got my nails done because they didn't have gel X, like the soft gel or whatever. And I had to get acrylic and I didn't want to because I had been getting gel X for the past couple of weeks. So now that I know that there's a place nearby that does gel X, I can come here. But I will have to get my acrylic taken off. But maybe I can get my acrylic taken off. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I don't got time for that today. But I'm very glad that I didn't pay for the parking. I was like, let me go in here first and make sure I can get service before I pay for this damn parking. Because you got to pay for parking everywhere. So, happy I didn't do that. So, I'm probably going to go to the nail lounge. Um, they open up at 1130. But I'm going to see. Maybe I can go get a wax first. To see if... Um, so I'm gonna see if my girl is at the eyebrow place. I usually only go to one specific person to get a wax. However, I don't really got much going on down there because I was doing my own. I just, I'm tired. I can't do that. So I need somebody else to do that shit for me. Get somebody else to do. So I am sitting in the parking lot waiting for the nail salon to open up. They open up at 11.30 It's 11.16. And I called the eyebrow place. My girl is there because the last time I went and got my eyebrows done, I did not like the lady who did them. They literally like just didn't look like shit. I waited until she, I think the girl who I normally go to, she was sick. My skin looks good right now. I am about to head to clean my Airbnb. First, I'm gonna get some Starbucks. I haven't had Starbucks in a few days. No, actually, I haven't had Starbucks in a few weeks. I'm just feeling a little drowsy right now. So I kind of need a little pick-me-up. We had a late checkout today. They checked out at 3 p.m. So I was like, well, they asked if they could check out at 3 p.m. And I was like, sure, why not? We don't have anybody checking in after you guys. So I'm so tired. We had a late checkout today. Um, the guy staying there, he wanted to extend his trip because his flight wasn't until 6 o'clock. So I was like, whatever, fuck it. You know, whatever can get us a good review. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Like, a lot of people have always asked me, like, oh, how is Airbnb? You know, what? how did you get started in Airbnb? Do you like Airbnb? Blah, blah, blah. No, I fucking hate Airbnb. I do not like it. 10 out of 10, don't recommend. Um, and it, I didn't feel that up until we got our second Airbnb. The second one really like blew us out the water. Like we are in debt from all of the furniture and stuff that we bought because we weren't able to pay it off with the second Airbnb. It just wasn't a good um, investment. The first one that we had, that one still gets booked quite often. It's still profitable, so to say, but the first year we did Airbnb, our first Airbnb, that shit was so profitable. Like we was making rent and like $2,000 more. But that was like 2021, people were still fucking with Airbnbs. Like people were still traveling and staying in Airbnbs. Now, people can stay in hotels because Airbnb has too much bullshit attached to it now. Like you, you gotta worry about people recording you while you in the room, Clean the high ass cleaning fees. You gotta worry about so much like there's so much stuff that you have to worry about when you book an airbnb the backup i don't give a fuck i don't give a fuck uh, uh, i don't give up man i don't give up about you or anything that you do come on let me go through big dog let me go through him so let me not say i hate airbnb 
I just have had a bad experience this year with Airbnb. Whenever you're an entrepreneur or you do some type of investment, you normally or shouldn't expect a return on your investment. People say within like five, go, what are you doing? Five years, that's usually what they say. Like five years is when you'll probably start to see some type of change or improvement or something like that. But to be honest, I don't even know if I see the longevity in Airbnb enough to wait until that happens because so many people are not fond of Airbnb anymore, myself included. I don't like Airbnbs. I don't like staying in Airbnbs no more. I want a hotel. I want to call somebody to come clean my room every day. I want to request room service if I can. I when I went to Miami, I realized that I'm like, bro, hotels are way better than Airbnbs. Now, I do like Airbnbs for the aspect of if you're traveling in a large group, so y'all all can be together in the same house and stuff like that. You can have food to cook. I mean, you have a kitchen to cook and, you know, stuff like that. So there are pros and cons, and there's pros and cons with anything, but I truly just feel like, you know, if you're solo traveling or if you're on a vacation or something, I definitely think that hotels are the vibe. But I don't know, like, I'm just thankful that I made decisions and risk young and not older. Hi, can I please do a brown sugar shake and espresso? Espresso? You said a brown sugar oatmeal shake and espresso? Yes, please. What size? Um, grande. Anything else? That's all. Like, there's so many gurus, the who's who's of the entrepreneurship that promote Airbnb and all of this stuff. And I'm not saying that people aren't making money off of it, but I definitely do not think that now would ever be the time that I would recommend that anybody jumps into Airbnb. If you are looking to um, start a business, you know, do get it starting some type of investment. Do not quit your job. 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 Take my advice. I do not have a job right now. And of course I'm not hurting, but at the same time, there's so many things that I really want to do that I can't because I, I'm not making the same type of money that I was making before. But I keep thinking the sacrifices that I make now and the things that I'm putting myself through now is only going to benefit me in the long run. And it'll allow me to help other people. Money thing, like knowing how to manage money and knowing when to spend here, when to do whatever. I will already have that down pat because I was able to do it when I had nothing, you know? So I don't know. I just kind of like just take everything as a lesson. And I've also learned for myself that I'm the type of person that I'm not going to learn from somebody else telling me, girl, don't quit your job. Girl, don't do that. I, mm -mm. I have to see it for myself. I literally have to go through it myself in order to believe that that is the truth. Not with everything, but with situations like this. But honestly speaking, like I'm genuinely not upset at the, f the only reason that I'm literally like upset at the fact that I don't have a job is because I can't go out and buy the things that I wanna buy, take the trips that I wanna take. But besides all of that, I love the fuck out of not having a job because have freedom, plan out my day however the fuck I want to. There's so many things that I enjoy about not having a job. The only thing that I don't enjoy is the money aspect, but that's coming, you know? So I think that right now I'm appreciative of the fact that I do have freedom and even the jobs that I have got, like I hate them because I want to be free. I want to be able to move at my own pace, do the things that I want to do, and don't have to check in with nobody. So I don't know, that's my little TED talk of the day. I hope that was um, helpful to somebody. If you're planning on starting a business anytime soon, do your due diligence first. Um, and I'm not saying don't take the risk, take the fucking risk because you'll never know if it works or if it doesn't work if you don't take the risk. But be smart about the risks that you take. You feel me? Hi. 626. Okay, can I scan first? Yes, you can. Thank you so much. No problem, love. Have a great rest you of your day. You too. Six. That's the thing that I would say. 
If you are like on an entrepreneurship journey or you want to do some things that you know your family might not agree with or it might not seem like the right idea or plan, do whatever feels best in your heart and do not worry about how other people are going to judge you and look at you or whatever the case may be because my my folks know if i want to do something if i want to try something i'm gonna fucking try it bitch i didn't try to be a fitness trainer didn't like it i tried to do the multi-level marketing with the nutriburst and shit didn't like that well honestly let me not say i didn't like that but i knew it wasn't something that i could see myself doing long term what else have i tried to do Mm -hmm. I tried to do Airbnb and now I'm doing my credit repair and that's the only thing that I truly could see myself doing long term um, but not even the credit repair just financial literacy and business um, business like counseling or consulting and stuff like that I could see myself doing that or being a life coach or just, there's so many things because I am a person of like I wouldn't say I'm like a jack of all trades, but I could wear a couple different hats and be very successful with it. And yeah, so I don't know, just don't be afraid to take that leap of faith and try some shit because you never know what's gonna work out. You won't know till you try. Yeah, I'm not gonna hold you. Somebody left these and I'm taking them. I just finished cleaning and I was doing some research on these pans so these are cast aluminum I'm not for certain but I was just looking up online because the brand is I'm USA it looks as if they so if it is cast aluminum basically they still have the non-stick properties that can create hormonal imbalances within women i don't know if i want to take it but i'm also not 100 percent for sure that this is a, a cast aluminum because i've never had a cast iron skillet or pan or whatever so i don't really know what exactly it's supposed to look like i feel like i know what it looks like because i think my grandma used to cook with one all the time she used to make her eggs in it and shit but i don't know so I'm thinking maybe I should just take it with me just because because these motherfuckers don't eat that here and if it is like something that's healthy for the body I would want to have it because it's free the fuck they left it here for me but what I really came on here to say is that there is a new fucking John Wick about to come out March 24th if you know you know John Wick is the shit. I swear to you, those movies will never get old. And I hope this is not the last one, but I'm so excited to watch this one. Last year, I literally binge watched. I was doing a water fast and I was water fasting for three days. So the second day I was tied to the bed, like bed rest because I was so depressed that I couldn't eat. I watched all of the John Wicks and I was like, what the fuck? Like, where has this been my whole entire life? And then when I watched the one where they killed the dog, bitch i was in there crying okay mm -mm. i could not handle that like i was dead ass crying real tears and i always would crack jokes on my mom for crying during movies and stuff like that and now i've turned it to her but i was dead ass crying like they really killed that dog i could not believe it like i felt so much anger in my heart that i really wanted to hurt them but i was like Tuya, it's a fucking movie but how did you fake a dog's death in a movie riddle me that anyways and why would you want to do that like why humans okay whatever dogs disrespectful but i'm just chilling in here right now we were supposed to have somebody wanted to check in but he never ended up paying so i'm gonna message him right now and see if he still wants to book I'm about to head back home. Um, I was going to edit my videos today, but I'm going to just save that for tomorrow. Today, all I really feel like doing is sitting on the couch and watching TV. Sitting on the couch and watching TV. <laughs>
my focus today is slow and controlled i'm under tension so having slower movements will help create that some context here um the whole time i was at the gym this nigga was being mad weird like looking at me the whole time he saw me put the camera up and then you come over here and fucking stand in front of my camera like you want to be seen that bad you want to be seen that bad <laughs> for real like is it that deep and then he starts squatting directly in front of my camera like you're weird you're mad weird and I'm not saying, like, you know, I could understand if he didn't see me put the camera up. You saw me put that camera up. You saw me put that camera up. You fucking saw me put that camera up. I just couldn't believe it. I was baffled. I just wanna feel you. Hey guys, I just got back from the gym and I'm about to make me some eggs so I can go to the coffee shop and do some wizard because I'm a wizard. But yeah, so let me tell y'all what I got going on today. So I need to edit my vlog from last week and post that this week. And I'm going to go to a coffee shop to get the work done. But I have to pick up my cousin from the airport, so I'm going to go to a coffee shop near the airport. So yeah, and she, her flight comes in at like 3 it's a limb. Oh, and I need to go to Best Buy and try to return this thing. But yeah, so I'ma just, hopefully I can finish that vlog today and tomorrow so I can post it by Thursday. That young bull left his key up here. What a rookie. Like, you really be on some rookie shit. Like, how you forget your key? Like, how you do that? How you did that? But yeah, so I gotta pick my cousin up from the airport. And then, y'all know I got my mama's car right now. So I'm gonna drop her off at my mama house. And then my mama gonna bring me back over home. But I'm gonna hang out with them for a little while. You know what I'm saying? Hang out with the, the ladies of the 80s. Um, get that video done and uploaded because Y'all know I'm trying to be consistent this year and get these videos up twice a motherfucking week. So yeah, y'all hold me accountable. Like I need accountability partner. A partner, partner, partner. I always God's plan. You know, he always working through me cause I got God in me, baby. I am God. I am the creator of my reality. You feel me? So everything that I pray for and everything that I manifest, it's going to come into fruition because why? I am the creator of my own reality. I created this. Are you shitting me? I did this. I did this. I manifested my relationship. I manifested waking up and having this high rise apartment. I manifested 
me gaining weight and getting the weight and the body that I wanted and not be a skinny fucking petite skinny petite thing. stick anymore. I manifested good health, great health. I manifested my hair being not actually I was born like this, but maybe I manifested my hair in the last lifetime, so now I got it, you feel me? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I manifested beautiful and amazing friendships. I manifested a mentor. I manifested um, a million subscribers on YouTube. I manifested brand trips, brand deals. I manifested six figure brand deals. I manifested fucking millionaire status baby i manifested being the first millionaire of my family yes i did i did that i did that i manifested my dream closet i manifested my dream trips i manifested my dream car yeah like i don't play about my life what about you you play about your life you better quit you better quit but yeah guys i'm just so grateful for my life. I'm grateful for my life. I'm thankful for everything that has happened for me because I don't believe nothing happens to you. I believe everything happens for you. And how you choose to think about a situation is how, you, how you're gonna manifest the outcome. Because I could have easily been hurt and distraught about my car being totaled out and not having a car, this, that, and the third, blah, blah, blah. Having to ask people for a ride, having to ask to drive my mama's car, drive my boyfriend's car, be embarrassed and upset and depressed. But no, instead, I took it as a time to sit down, realize that I don't need to be going out and doing this and going here and going there, going to this event, going to this club, going to this thing. No, I don't have to do that to have a fun life. And me not having a car allowed me to realize that because I couldn't, for real, for real. Like I couldn't go nowhere. So now it's just like, I don't even fucking want to do that shit. I want to use my car to go to the fucking mall and buy whatever the hell I want or drive to Florida if I want to do that and take a nice little road trip or go to, back and forth to my mama house if I want to do that or go see my friends or whatever. Everything is about perspective though. You either going to be a half full or half empty type of bitch. And which one are you? Let me know. Let me know. Just let me know. Just let me know. Cause I'm a half full, honey. I'm almost full, I'm gonna be overflowing, okay? I'm not half empty, I'm not going down, I'm going up. You feel me? So I want you to take a second and think about it. Are you a half full or half empty? Like, do you say things that manifest into half empty energy or half full? Do you feel like you have a half empty life? Like, Oh my God, I have to do this, this, and this, like, oh my God. Or you, oh my gosh, yes, I have to do this, this, and this, and it's going to get me here, you know? Think about it. Which one are you? And if you're half empty type of person, check yourself, because nothing good is going to come from being half empty, babe. I wonder, like, one day Cholula is going to inspire... <laughs> No, one day Tulula is gonna sponsor me because, you know, I just love Cholula and every time I eat eggs, Cholula is going on the like, go get y'all some Cholula. I put that shit on everything. What the fuck is you talk about? But nah, this honestly, this is the best hot sauce ever because it's like, it's not super spicy, but it still has a nice kick to it and you could put it on literally anything. Tacos, eggs, fucking chicken. You could put it literally on anything. Like it just tastes so good and I love it. Can't nobody tell me different. Uh, I'm done talking to y'all. That was my TED talk of the day, but I really want you to take a second and think about the fact that if you are a half empty or a half full, like are you living a half empty life or a half full life? Like what is your perspective of your life? And if you're half empty, I want you to sit down and evaluate the areas that you can to stop thinking in a half empty type of way. So I'm about to eat my food. Um, I made four eggs and I'm about to make me two pieces of toast and that's it and call it a day. Talk to y'all later. 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 Oh my God, what is that?
<laughs> oh my god what is that wow that was so fucking weird all right goodbye They can't they can't hear you. I got my headphones in. So just do the just do the Yeah. Yeah. beautiful car no. I don't want to be on hey hey welcome to Atlanta <laughs> let me see <laughs> Woo. what's the name of it I mean no that's the um, wheels fall off three wheel motion three wheel motion I'm not a frozen drinker but they pop it out kings and queens so today is wednesday march the 15th yesterday i started my cycle unfortunately well fortunately but unfortunately yeah i started my cycle and i started it like at night and now i'm going through you know that time of the month but this morning I woke up and I kind of just told myself that I was just gonna give myself the day because I recently learned about the idea of working with your cycle and not against it. So what I mean by that is, is basically like, as a woman, like our body goes through so many different changes, phases, and all of that good stuff. Like, while you're on your cycle, you go through so many different emotions, your body is overworked and like just going through a lot. You're, uh hormone levels are super low so that kind of reflects in your creativity your productivity your energy all of the above like everything just kind of goes downhill and you kind of want to make sure you're not doing things during your cycle that requires too much effort or too much exertion or 
stuff like that and I think that's kind of why a lot of times like people lash out while they're on their period or they don't want to talk to nobody and stuff like that is because they're doing too many things while they're on their cycle like you should be focusing more on like catering to yourself self-care relaxing sleeping drinking a lot of fluids and stuff like that just getting your body the nutrients and the support and the love that it needs while you're going through this phase and i also learned that your cycle is not just one week your cycle has four different phases a follicular phase ovulation phase and then you have the luteal phase and then you have the actual cycle I'm not that knowledgeable about it to kind of like go fully into detail about it but do your own research and kind of just read up about the different phases and what you should be doing during these phases and what you shouldn't be doing during these phases and what qualities of yourself will be heightened during these phases and which ones will be lower so it'll kind of allow you to know how to work around your schedule and what you should be planning if you should be going out this week or should you wait until next week to do it should you be hanging out with your friend whatever read up about it and see how you could start taking control over your your life I mean your cycle is your life I just thought that was cool to know so the reason for me telling you guys that is because I decided to give myself the day I don't really won't really be doing too much I'm not going to the gym today I woke up and finished editing my YouTube video which is a vlog from when I was sick so I'm gonna be posting that today and then I also ordered me some Starbucks from Uber Eats I was a little nervous at first because it's just like I feel like somebody's gonna try to spike my drink like it's sad that we have to think like that but it's just like damn it was already too late I had already placed the order so they package it up like they tape it up which i definitely think that they should staple it instead of taping it staple it and tape it because the tape you can gently pull the tape up because even right here like this tape this tape right here i pulled that up and it didn't leave no marks or nothing so somebody could easily just stick that back together so i think starbucks um you guys should start stapling your bag so that people know like nobody is messing with your stuff and staple it multiple times like i know whoever's ordering this won't mind and they also put like a little little sticker on top of the mouthpiece but somebody could easily take that up so you know i'm gonna just pray that nobody fucked with my stuff but i'm gonna still drink it because i paid too much money not to that's really all i have going on today so yeah, that's it. Let's drink. I haven't had a pink drink in a really long time. They're scamming us. And then you just drink your drink in peace. Cheers, bitches. That's my TED talk of the day. I just wanted to show y'all that that bleach stuff really be working because these flowers still look good, honey. They still look good. And I got those on Friday? It's Wednesday. So it's been almost a week and they still look amazing. Use bleach in your flowers. But do your research though, because I'm not a florist. having issues with like our internet speed and stuff like that so yesterday we went to Xfinity each to try to get the new modem but they gave us the same modem that we already had because they said the modem that we were asking for isn't compatible with the speed that we had so we was like all right fuck it so we took it and then today i was still having issues my video was still uploading slow so tv kept going in and out like it was just the same problems even with the new modem and mind you we already have fast speed uploading speed so i really don't even know why um it was giving us problems like that we upgraded to super fast speed and supposedly 
um we just doubled our speed um our download and our upload speed and only had to pay 10 extra dollars so hopefully this helps our issue i restarted the uploading process of the video that i had just edited today to hopefully see if this works so i hope it does because if it doesn't i'm literally gonna go crazy because it shouldn't be taking as long to upload on video like come on i'll be for real so it's still only at six percent and a hundred i mean one hour and 18 minutes i wonder if there's a way can you like directly connect your mac to your modem use a wired connection to the internet connect an ethernet cable between your router or modem and the ethernet port on your mac let's see this is blowing my shit bro I ain't even gonna hold you so you always gotta find a way to maneuver and shake Oh. If you know, you know that voice. But <clears throat> currently, I feel like every time I get on the video, I got this hoodie on. But y'all go shop my cousin's line. His brand is called One Chance the Brand. Let peace set you free, baby. Fly away. Okay. I look good right now. So I'm currently about to make me some spaghetti squash. And if you've ever made spaghetti squash, which is my first time making spaghetti squash, and luckily I talked to the ladies of the 80s before I did this, and one of them informed me that you should poke holes in it and put it in a microwave. I put it in the microwave for a minute to like cut it in half because they're very hard to cut in half so you can put it in the microwave but poke holes in it so the steam can kind of seep through and loosen it up and then you cut it down the middle and then put it in the oven on 400 for about an hour let it cook and then it'll come out like stringy like spaghetti but it's a good way if you're trying to like um carb cycle or balance out your carb intake so if you still want pasta you can use that i'm not saying there's anything wrong with carbs but i bought the spaghetti squash so i'm gonna make it um in the meantime i'm gonna wash the dishes because they looking a little crazy looking a little crazy and update on the computer the video is still not uploaded. We're at about 20%, so it's still going very freaking slow. So my boyfriend went to go pick up the port, the um, Thunderbolt to Ethernet connector to my laptop. So I'm going to see if that works. I fingers crossed that that works because I'm really trying to be consistent with uploading my videos. And I want to have set days to upload. But if my upload takes too long, I can't put a set date on when I can upload. You know what I'm saying? So... That's what we got going on right now. I'm I'm gonna wash the dishes while I'm watching Chicago PD and wait for my spaghetti squash to come out of the oven. Um, we got some pesto in there, so I'm gonna make like a pesto pesto spaghetti squash with chicken. Hopefully, it's good. I'm um, you know I've never tried this before. I've had spaghetti squash before, but I've only had it like sauteed like salt, pepper, and I think like parmesan. So it wasn't really nothing too crazy. So hopefully, this tastes good and my money don't go to waste on these damn high ass groceries so yeah i just wanted to update you guys on what i got going on for the night currently it is it's about to be eight o'clock so yeah i didn't really do much today the only thing i did was edit my video try uploading the video played around with the wi-fi um went to xfinity to get the new box and that was it and now i'm here so that's it guys I'll check back in with y'all when I finish, when the spaghetti squash is done. Um, so I can show y'all how to like pull it apart and stuff like that. I feel like it's going to be very satisfying. I just finished washing the dishes, but I wanted to tell you guys that I just purchased my first. Well, really not my first. I did creatine once, but I wasn't consistent with it and it was the pills. So I bought the actual jar, which is pure creatine monohydrate. And just a little hack. Let me zoom. I mean, let it focus. Damn, it's not focusing. But just a little hack for all my people that take any type of supplements. Keep half of the little cover part, the sealer, on there. So when you 
Let me show you. So, okay, so if you take a scoop, boom, and then you see that excess, you use that to make it flat. So now you got a full scoop, perfect scoop, should I say. So Understanding the creatine loading phase, if you eat typical omnivorous diet, you take in about one to two grams of creatine each day, your muscle store of creatines are likely only 60 to 80 percent full however it is possible to maximize your muscle storage by taking supplements trainers usually trainers normally recommend a creatine loading phase to rapidly maximize your muscle storage during this phase you consume a relatively large amount of creatine over a short period to rapidly saturate your muscles one common approach is to take 20 to 25 grams of creatine daily for five to seven days this dose is typically divided into four or five gram servings throughout the day research shows that this regimen can effectively boost muscle storage of creatine by 10 percent to 40 percent after the loading phase you can maintain your storage of creatine by taking a lower dosage which ranges from three to five grams daily some people may need more due to their greater muscle mass i bought this from my friend and i will leave his link down below he is an affiliate with this company and i definitely will give you guys an update after i've used it for a few months and let you know how it worked for me so yeah i'm excited because you know i'm back on my fitness era i took a little break but she is back and better because you already know reply
Jackson Ray. Right? Hey, away from her, not to touch her. According to her neighbor, she seemed pretty afraid of you. My boyfriend's gonna love it. I'm so happy. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. 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 Look of the recipe down below. The chicken was a different recipe, but you can make your own chicken. Eating healthy can still be fun. I'm just literally so proud of myself. Like y'all don't understand. I tell y'all all the time that I'm not a chef. I really outdid myself with this one. But, I think I'm gonna go ahead and close this vlog out here. I feel like this video is still gonna be long enough. I did quite a few things in this vlog and I still wanna record another video as well. So I gotta come up with that idea and that concept. So without the stress of continuing this vlog, I'm gonna go ahead and close it out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And try this recipe if you're trying to like lose weight, tone up, or just, you know, monitor your carb intake and just eat healthier and balanced meals, try this recipe. I swear to you guys, it's so good. It has a nice kick to it. It's just really good. So I'll talk to y'all in the next vlog or the next video, whatever it's gonna be. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. I love you so much. Thank you so much for the support and I'll talk to you later. Love you, bye.